Referencing isn't always fun, but it can be easier. I'm Matthew Smith, one of the librarians here at UEA, and in this video I want to show you one of the resources we have to make referencing easier, cite them right. We're going to start today at my.uea.ac.uk. I'm really going to strongly encourage you to go this route. If you were to Google for cite them right, you'll get to the resource, but it won't know you're from UEA and therefore won't give you access. So we start at my.uea.ac.uk and scroll down the page till we find the library option. From here, we'll select A to Z databases. This will give you a list of all the databases or equivalent resources that we have access to here at UEA. We're going to look at Cite Them Right. So if I click on the C, we should then be able to find Cite Them Right as the list is in alphabetical order. This is the Cite Them Right homepage. Now there are lots of really useful elements to this website, but I'm going to show you what I think are the most important, or the ones that will get you started most quickly. If you're not feeling confident with referencing generally, you've got a couple of options. There's the basics of referencing, or you can work through a more structured tutorial. If I click on to tutorial, we can have a quick look at that. Now once you arrive at this page, you'll need to launch the tutorial using the purple button on the right hand side of the screen. If you want to track your progress, you'll need to sign in. Now this would be signing in not with your UEA account, but with an account you'd create yourself. So if you want to work through one of the guides or more and come back to them and have your progress remembered, you'll need to start by clicking the sign in and creating an account for yourself. Now I won't go through these in any more detail today, but you can see here that there are guides for the key referencing styles. Harvard is most commonly used at UEA, but of course we use things like Oscar and Chicago as well. Now if I come back to the home page, your more likely use of Cite Them Right is going to be to look up specific types of resource and how you'd reference them in your own particular referencing style. Cite Them Right organises their information in two ways. You can either browse by category, i.e. learn how to reference books, journals, etc. and then choose the referencing style you plan to use. Or you can start with the referencing style and then go in and look at the different types of resources. I would suggest that this is the easier to use as you'll always want to use the same referencing style. So if I start with Harvard and click onto this, we'll be presented with a list of different resource types which is pretty comprehensive and you'll then be able to click on any particular examples to see how one would reference that type of resource in Harvard. So let's start with books and you'll see we've got print books, ebooks, audiobooks, pamphlets, reprint and facsimile editions. So I'll just click on the printed books to give us an example, as that's obviously going to be a popular resource type. And here's the guidance page for printed books using Harvard referencing style. So we scroll down and there's an explanation of how references are constructed. And you'll get examples for both in-text citations and also for your reference list at the end of your assignment. And you're able to try it out yourself here or even copy this little snippet into a Word document so you've got it to hand when you're working through your references. And if we scroll down the page, you'll see that there are examples where you have more authors than just the one, or indeed if you had an editor or editors. So you have lots of examples here. It should be pretty much comprehensive. It will be unusual that you have a, a source that you want to reference which isn't covered here. And in fact, if we go back to the longer list, you'll see that we have more in the book section even. So there are other parts here that could be expanded out. But we'll just scroll down a little bit further. We'll also have a look at journal articles, as these are likely to be the other type of resource you're citing most commonly. So within Harvard, again, the setup is exactly the same. You'll get examples for both in-text and your reference list. You'll have text that you can copy out or you can tweak within here if you just want to try it out on the screen. And then variations down the page. And if we just have a quick look, I'll compare this to a couple of other referencing styles. So if we have a look at Oscula, we see the format is almost identical. 
You may have slightly different sections as different referencing styles will treat resources in different ways, but fundamentally the process is the same. So we click on Let's Go Journal Articles and we'll be taken through to a page with a series of examples explaining how you'd reference different types of this resource. So very consistent, doesn't matter which referencing style you're using, you should get the same experience. So Oscar there and let's just have a quick look at Chicago to finish off the video. Okay, so once again, exactly the same structure. If I wanted to know about print books, I click on the print book option and here we go. Very much uniform, fewer examples in this case. You've also got a search bar at the top of the page that you could use. But personally, I find navigating through the different menus easier as everything's collected together in an order that makes most sense. So I hope this has been helpful. Sight and Write is an excellent resource. Don't forget, though, that you can always get support with referencing from the Learning Enhancement team. I'll put the details on the screen, but if you're having any trouble at all, do email them at ask.let at uea.ac.uk.